Uh, so the attack continuum idea came from looking at the problem from the eyes of the defender as opposed to from the eyes of a vendor. And when a, a defender is thinking about security, they're not thinking about, well, I, you know, uh, I need you know, this piece and that piece, and if I have you know, enough pieces, then eventually I'll have security. They're thinking about the, the problems that they face and the things they need to accomplish. And the real problem that they face is you know, when they look at threats, the way that threats go after them, they're really looking at uh, an attack continuum, right? A threat uh, doesn't just emerge at a moment in time. Uh, you certainly have them you know, coming in, but you have to prepare for them, you have to deal with them when they're there, and then you have to think about what happens you know, if they're successful, right? So if I'm a defender, I think about this in terms of before, during, and after an attack. So before the attack, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to harden my assets, I'm trying to build the, the biggest castle with the thickest walls I can so the attackers don't even try to get in. Uh, so that never works. And because that never works, we end up in the, the during phase when they actually launch an attack. So the attackers figure, well, I, I think I can get into this enterprise, and they, they fire off an attack. And during an attack, what am I trying to do? Well, I'm trying to detect it and block it if I can. I at least want to detect it and let somebody know that it happened, and if I can block it, even better. So during an attack, I want to uh, uh, deploy uh, technologies that will allow me to do that, and they either work or they don't. So if they don't work, then we get into the after phase. And after an attack, when somebody gets into my environment, so they bypassed everything else. They got through all the defenses, they got through all of the, uh, the real-time uh, detection and prevention technologies, and they're in. Now, when somebody gets in, they don't get in a little. They usually get in a lot. They drop a bunch of tools, and they set themselves up. They set up a shop. In fact, they may even patch your network up to keep other people from getting into it so that they can maintain you know, control. Um, so if I'm a defender, it's going to take me some amount of time to figure out that I've been compromised. And once I do figure that out, I need, to, uh, I need to determine the scope of the compromise. So I need to figure out what's been broken into and what tools they're using and how they're communicating, things like that. So I need to scope it. I need to contain it so that it can't spread any further, shut down its communication channels and things like that. And then I need to get rid of it. I need to get it out. I need to remediate it. 